Well, he is known as Australia's king of sleepwear and his garments have been loved and worn by the likes of Kylie Minogue, Selma Hayek and Lady Gaga, among many others. Peter Alexander is here in New Zealand in collaboration with Makona Coffee and we caught up with him a couple of days ago, fresh off his plane from Melbourne mm. at the beautiful Stamford Plaza here in Auckland. Peter, designer PJ's delicious coffee and helping animals. It must be good to wake up each day. That is my favourite three combination. I mean, a great jar of Makona, Peter Alexander pyjamas and helping animals. What a better way to start the day. Because when we think of your name, Peter Alexander, we think instantly Jim Jams, yes. Jammies, PJs, call them what you like. That yes. is what you were known for. And everybody who I said when I said I was going to talk to you, they're like, oh my goodness, I'm so excited about that. I've got a pair of his pyjamas. Oh, I love the smell of his shops. I love the smell of your shops. Uh, when I said, oh, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about coffee as well right. with them, they're like, oh, what's all this about? So tell us about the association. What's this all about? Well, as you said, Peter Alexander, myself, I'm famous for sleeping my way around the world. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting through Auckland one chick at a time um, <laughs> and a few men as well, you know. Uh, so I wanted to not only go to bed with them, wake up with them and enjoy a cup of coffee. So Makona approached me to do a collaboration where we designed some of their iconic jars as keepsakes. So we put some of my best prints around the jars and you can reuse the jars and you also get a $10 offer off on Peter Alexander. And so it was all a win-win-win situation. And then the animals come in because the money that they were going to pay me, which was a hell of a lot, I donated 100% of it to the animal charities for just, Justice in New Zealand. 100%? Yes. Wow, yes. generous. Yes, well, you know, um, I do love my animals. So let's talk more about the animals, because clearly you love them. Where did all that start? I did have animals as a kid. I, well, I can't... I can't quite remember the love I had for them then. I developed my strong attachment to animals as an adult more. Uh, I think I just love the unconditional love. Um, there was something about nurturing, perhaps because I didn't have my own kids, um, I started treating my dogs as kids, which, you know, it's okay. There's no crime against That's, me. You're not the only person who does <laughs> no. that, Peter. Do you call them your fur babies? No, but no, I'm not that person, but they do sleep on the bed with me. Not okay. in the bed, but on the bed. Um, and I, they just give me such such joy. And, and uh, Penny, who was my brand ambassador, who you see on my bags, and the da Dashound, she passed on. And when she passed on, I never paid her for her image. So I thought the only, the best way to pay her is to pay back her kind. So e every year we raise money for an, an animal charities. It's Poor Justice in New Zealand and RSPCA in Australia. And Makona came along and we, created this wonderful thing where everybody wins. The natural synergy really isn't yes. it? Because Penny was she was your she was your earlier dog. Yes, You've got correct. Two... I've got now Betty and Butch. Yes. It's funny because you look at your jammies and there's always somewhere there's like a little Daxi. dash and yeah. I always wondered what that was about. Yes, that was just about me thinking my dog's the best in the world and being able to, you know, stick it everywhere. And, you know? and why not? <laughs> why not? It's like one, one of the perks of being Peter Alexander is I have underpants with Peter Alexander written around the elastic. I mean, you know. There's nothing like having your undies on your... It's like when you're a kid and you've got your, like, your name and your yeah, waistband. Yeah, I know. But I know. Better. It's so weird. You know, it, it's one, one of the little perks. So where did it all begin for you? Pajamas. Well... You know, I started 30 years ago when I was in my 20s and it was, people often ask me why pyjamas and I say, well, you know, I slept around a lot and thought, God, everyone wears such crappy pyjamas. But that's <laughs> not really the case. I was actually a very good boy. Um, the reason is I just saw a gap in the market and had had an idea and just thought I'll do, do it. And it was very crazy that at the time because there was no fashion pyjamas at that stage. So everyone told me I couldn't, I shouldn't, don't, but I did. And and uh, now I look back and it's amazing. I've got, you know, over a hundred stores around Australia and New Zealand and, uh, you know, I'm just going to keep sailing the Peter Alexander boat around the world till I'm totally exhausted and slept with everybody. <laughs> he is such a fascinating man. We'll have more from Peter Alexander very soon. OK, back to our catch-up with Peter Alexander. Now, I asked him where his design inspiration came from. 
all over the place. Um, I can be sort of like even today I'll look at you and say oh my god I love the black and white one black stripe and then I'll in my brain I'll turn that around to do you know a pant in one and a shirt in the other so I'm constantly my eyes are constantly open whether it's a television show I'll freeze frame something because I like the wall wallpaper in the background of the show or walking down the street I'll see someone who's got a really cute dog and so it's it's not a matter of fashion just a matter of life yeah. and keeping your eyes open I'm sort of open 20 Four hours a day. So I take, like two things, I, I take two things out of that. I yes. take, okay, next time we see this, a stripe in anything. <laughs> you want a commission? She does. It's me. No, because once I stick my logo on it, the dog, it's mine. Sorry. <laughs> and also, when you say you freeze frame TV shows, yes. did you freeze frame The Real Housewives of Auckland? I'm obsessed with The Real Housewives of Auckland. Oh, obsessed with it. It's the, the best one of the franchise. I mean, they're all nuts. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. And I'm just the first thing when I landed in Auckland today, I was like, oh my God, they're somewhere here in their natural environment. I want to go to Parnell and just sort of walk around and see if I can spot one. So we're going to see some like desperate housewife inspired pajamas? <laughs> yes. Some like Angela Stone pants? Actually, yeah, some get, get real some real pajamas. Ones? Some real pajamas, yeah. Yeah, but we should get back to talking about Makaida, shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> coffee That's right. Where's our cups? That's what we need. Well, they, we need, well you don't, these coffee jars are capable and you can do so much stuff with them. So um, I'm just loving the fact that you don't chuck things away anymore. We're in such a, a thing in society where everything gets thrown away. And with the Makona's iconic jar, it's really nice to be able to reuse it. And that's also why I love putting my, my name to it. It's a positive thing. Just one final question for you sure. too. What's on trend, Jami wise for us? What's on trend? Well, coming into Christmas, it's all a bit about the sparkle. So, uh, you know, I think any, anything that's sort of got Christmas, I've embraced the daggy Chris Christmas trends. So I love a daggy Christmas classic Santa or reindeer or red spots or anything like that. I'm like, go, go, go for it. Bring out your inner dag. Well, it's your night, night attire. This is where you can do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I would. To me, it's about getting your inner child back into your life because as as we're adults, we put on a lot of armour and, you know, we go to work and we dress a certain way and we have to act a certain way. Having pyjamas, you can actually throw that out and say, this is who I re re really am, like a big... Can I say the word dickhead? Yeah. Oh, big dick, dickhead, and I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> I've got your Christmas present. We sort of. So you know any dickheads. <laughs> And, and I just wanted to say, on behalf of men that love your PJs, thanks Thank for you. making men's PJs yes. sexy again. Oh, your pleasure. I'm That's sure you, you look extra hot in them. I mean, you sent me that Instagram shot, shot of you. Thank I told you. you not to do that. Thank oh. you very, very much. <laughs> Gotta stop that. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my return. <laughs> Yeah, and still waiting, actually, Peter, if you're watching. Um, he is so much fun, isn't he? And very clever, too. Yeah, yeah. bring out your inner dag. <laughs> That's right. I love it. I'm, I'm looking forward to my Christmas present, too. We could have talked to Peter for hours. Yeah. Peter Alexander's exclusive Makona Wake Up and Style collection consists of four amazing designs, all of which are available for a very limited time from leading supermarkets. And tomorrow on the show, Amish Dodd will be catching up with Peter in his home design segment.